is a uh, set in the Missouri Ozarks, and there is a roadside killing and a manhunt, uh, a lot of country music, tattoos. <laughs> it's uh, I'm thinking of it as a uh, metaphysical Ozark noir, <laughs> uh, spiritual autobiography. Um, <laughs> Chapter 1. There was another secret midnight run along the railroad tracks, five miles outside of Thorpe and then back. No one to see his face. No questions or accusations for the shapes that held it. And so he felt ecstatic in the old mystic sense, standing outside of himself as he raced, thick air a liquid in his throat, and the constellations put inside him the conception were letting themselves be known now. He had become an infinite mathematical problem on the cusp of being solved. All the failures that delivered him to this moment were a blessing, and it all was true. The world was introducing itself again as a terror. He was yet to fail those wor worlds dearest to him. He would be the keeper of failures this night forward. He was a shaman conducting their continual array. And even the simplest failings had a metaphysical presence. No one even knew he was out here. If he perished tonight, who could say where to bury him? If he was a citizen, it was not of this terrestrial state. He was miles already beyond his usual turn back. He would sprint further and harder into the darkness. Maria Sabina was in his headphones chanting, Ki, 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 ko, ke, ki, ki, Cristo, through the thudding of his blood. And the book of life would begin to open for him now. He would host the heart of Christ inside himself. It was to be torn out of the sky and from the depths of the waters. And when he heard the train behind him, his own heart went into a mania. Its beak and talons tore at his flesh. He held his arms out in front of him as he sprinted. The train was on him like a demon. The train was crying out an unspeakable name, and he knew the night would become his author, and he would become its beloved book. And the train ran beside him under the gaze of mercy. It raced with him towards the Father. A voice from the well of his being rose inside of him asking, What else shall my love place onto you now? Thank you.